Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to create an integration between WhatsApp Business Cloud API and Communicate Chat Platform. Let's begin. All you need is a Communicate account and you can create that from our website link given in the description. Right after that, you will need to create an app from the Meta Developers Platform. So please go to developers.facebook.com and sign up with your Facebook account. Once you are done with the Facebook account sign up, you will be able to see a My Apps link as shown here. So this is My App link which is visible after the sign up. Click on My Apps link to create a new app right here. There's a button called Create App to create a new app. Select a type of account which is a business in this case and give a unique name for your app. So I'm just going to give Test01. If you have a business account, you can select one. If you don't have one, no worries, you can leave it empty and Meta will create that for you. That's cool, right? So this is your Facebook password, which is required for creating the business app. Enter the password and submit it. When you come to this page, the account will be already created. Scroll down and look for WhatsApp. Click on the setup button and here it is the getting started page. This page has all the information which is required to fill into the Communicate Integration page. So let me take you to the Communicate Integration page, which is right here. You can look for WhatsApp Cloud API and click on the settings for starting your setup of the Sandbox environment. You will learn about creating this permanent access token later in another video. Subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on that. Anyway, coming back to the Sandbox environment, a sandbox environment is a testing environment where you can test your setup. And these are the fields that are easily available on Getting Started page. And let me show you the mapping of all of these fields. So the phone number is right here. This is the phone number that is given to you by Meta for testing. Copy and paste this number in the first field. The second is the phone number ID which is present right underneath, which is right here. You can copy this number and paste it into the phone number ID field, which is just the second field. The third field is the temporary access token, which you can see right on top here. You can copy this temporary access token and paste it into this field. Also, copy and paste the account ID, which is right here. This is your new account ID, which you can copy paste from here and put on integration page. Now the API version, let me show you where you get it from. You have to go to the settings page and advanced tab. On this page, hover your mouse over this field called upgrade API version. And you can also see the version which is version 14.0 in this case. So I'm going to add the same on the integration page if not already added. For now I will keep the version 14.0. And once again, you can cross-check all your fields from the Getting Started page and you are good to go for the integration of the Sandbox environment. Now we just need to hit the Integrate button. This will set up your Sandbox environment. Once the setup is completed, we can move ahead to test the same. For testing the sending messages part, you will have to set up a webhook. Let me quickly show you the setup. Webhook will allow you to receive the messages on to the Communicate dashboard. Select WhatsApp Business Account and click on Subscribe to this Object button. Once you do this, you'll have to fill two fields. You can get this information from our docs.communicate.io page. You can also find the detailed steps of this integration given on this page as well. You just have to copy and paste these two fields from docs and paste them onto the callback URL and to the Communicate token. So once you have both of these done and verified, you have to just subscribe to the messages. Finish the subscription and you are ready to test your app. Let's test the send message part of this configuration. You can assign any number in the to field on which the message will be received. I've configured this number already so I'm just hitting the send button. This will send the message to my personal number. I'm just responding to that message and let's see this response in the communicate dashboard. So right here you can see the received message and this is my response to that message. The bot is responding. So this is how we can integrate the WhatsApp Business Cloud with Communicate. Feel free to get back to us if you have any questions about this integration. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful and please do subscribe to our channel to stay updated.